Marine Corps Fighter Pilot LT. Call. Mike O'Brien voted by absentee ballot in the 2020 election in Montgomery County, a suburb of Philadelphia. Weeks later, on Jan. 6. As GOP lawmakers objected to results of 2020 presidential election, O'Brien followed news as M.A. Gatwaring. Confederate flag-carrying rioters stormed U.S. Capitol. O'Brien watched to see who challenged the vote in his home state. And that was Scott Perry. These were the Republicans' delegation. And at that point it became personal for me and I wanted to do something about it, O'Brien said. This something is campaigning to unseat Rep. Scott Perry, chairman of the ultra-conservative Freedom Caucus, and a retired Topkin F-35 stealth fighter pilot is firing back at Perry's role in trying to steal the 2020 election. O'Brien wastes no time. He retired from the Marine Corps after 20 years in September and launched his campaign against Perry five days later. The Philly area native even moved to Perry's district Dauphin County in south-central Pennsylvania, part to directly challenge the incumbent. It became clear me that we had take this into account in order challenge Scott Perry head-on, one of the ringleaders of the insurrection that sought overthrow our democracy. That, said Brian, O'Brien is one of seven Democrats vying to replace Perry. Who figures they will eventually unseat the Sixter M congressman? Democrats believe they have a real chance to oust the notorious Trump ally this cycle by banking. That voters in Perry's district will reject his role in the big lie and hardline style of politics. From his attempts steal the 2020 presidential election to his extreme views on important issues. Like abortion. I think this district is poised to be extremely competitive. Pennsylvania Democratic strategist Mike Meekish told the Daily Beast Perry, current leader of the ultra-conservative House Freedom Caucus, allegedly played a key role in a plot to overturn 2020 presidential election results by linking former President Donald Trump to DOJ official Jeffrey Clark, who supported Trump's election denialism as part of FBI's investigation into efforts overturn election. In August 2022 FBI seized Perry's phone with a court-issued search warrant. But FBI was unable to access phone due legal challenges. But as Meekish put it politically to the Daily Beast, the FBI seizing your cell phone is never a good thing for voters. Democratic rivals are counting on that sentiment to turn the tide in Perry's Pennsylvania district, which includes Dauphin County home of the state capital Harrisburg, as well as parts of Cumberland and York counties, even though the district is R5 on the partisan voting index. Recent polls show Perry is vulnerable. Public policy polling in October found Perry had an approval rating of just 34 percent in the district, holding a lead of just two points over the overall Democratic candidate. The district, redrawn 2018 broke in Trump's favor by four points 2020. But last year, 